Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Blessed are you, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, and crowns you with steadfast love and tender mercy. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name, Blessed are you, O Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. Put not your trust in princes and sons of men in whom there is no salvation. When their breath departs, they return to their earth. On that very day all their plans perish. Blessed is the one whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed low. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the orphan. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation you deign to be incarnate of the holy birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. You were crucified, Christ God, trampling down death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity. 
glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. In your kingdom remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people shall revile you and persecute you, and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. The memory of the righteous is praised, but you are well pleased for honor with the testimony of the Lord. For you have truly been revealed as more honorable than the prophets, since you were deemed worthy to baptize in the stream the one they foretold. Therefore, having fought and suffered for the truth, you have also joyfully preached the good tidings of God, revealed in the flesh to those in Hades. He takes away the sins of the world and grants us great mercy. Your name was verified by your works, O wise Hiram, martyr Polycarp. You were a fruitful olive tree in the house of the Lord, and you nourished the church with the spiritual bounty of your words and deeds. You intercede for our souls, O hierarch and steadfast prize winner. She who was previously barren now bears the forerunner of Christ, who is the fulfillment of every prophecy. For the prophets proclaim beforehand that having laid hands on him in the Jordan, he would be manifested as prophet, preacher, and forerunner of the word of God. Through your virtues, O wise Polycarp, you offer spiritual fruits to the Lord and prove to be God's worthy hierarch who have been enlightened by your words. Today praise your memory and glorify God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With your saints, O Christ, give rest to the souls of your departed servants, where there is neither pain, sorrow, nor sighing, but life everlasting. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Protection of Christians who is not put to shame, a unchanging mediation before the Creator, 
Despise not the voice of sinners' prayers, but because you are good, quickly come to help us who call on you in faith. Speedily intercede and hastily supplicate, birth giver of God, who always protects those who honor you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. The righteous shall rejoice in the Lord and hope in him. O God, hear my prayers when I make my petition to you. The righteous shall rejoice in the Lord and hope in him. The reading from the second epistle of the holy apostle Peter. Brethren, then the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment and especially those who walk according to the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise authority. They are presumptuous, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignitaries, whereas angels who are greater in power and might do not bring a reviling accusation against them before the Lord. But these, like natural brute beasts made to be caught and destroyed, speak evil of the things they do not understand, and will utterly perish in their own corruption, and will receive the wages of unrighteousness, as those who count it pleasure to carouse in the daytime. They are spots and blemishes, carousing in their own deceptions, while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery, and they cannot cease from sin, enticing unstable souls. They have a heart trained in covetous practices and are accursed children. They have forsaken the right way and gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Beor, who, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. But he was rebuked for his iniquity. A dumb donkey speaking with a man's voice restrained the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water, clouds carried by a tempest, for whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. For when they speak great swelling words of emptiness, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through, through lewdness, the ones who have actually escaped from those who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are slaves of corruption. For by whom a person is overcome, by him also he ought to be is brought in bond, into bondage. For if, after they escape the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overcome, the latter end is worse for them than the beginning. For it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than to have known it and, and to turn from the holy commandment delivered to them. But it has happened to them according to the true proverb, A dog returns to its own vomit, and a sow, having washed, 
to her wallowing in the mire. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The righteous shall flourish as a palm tree. He shall increase like the cedar in Lebanon. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. They who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Jesus said, So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who was on the housetop not go down into the house, nor enter to take anything out of his house. And let him who was in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may not be in winter, for in those days there will be tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of creation, which God created until this time, nor ever shall be. And unless the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he chose, he shortened the days. Then if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or look, he is there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will rise, and show signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. But take heed. See, I have told you all things beforehand. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom, the choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, True God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the scriptures, and descended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity. May you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, 
all the residents of the St. Pantaleman ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, all of those afflicted with the coronavirus throughout the world, and all of those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleon Ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, especially Constantina, Ella, Joanne, Ruth, John, Jorge, Mihaela, Maria, Samuel, Philip, Daniel, and all those we cannot call to mind who have fallen asleep in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. In your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life, O Christ our God. To you we send up glory with your eternal Father and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. All Holy Trinity, co-essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me. Enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. And he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. 
The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. It is truly proper to bless you, birth giver of God, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without defilement, you give birth to God the Word, true birth giver of God, we magnify you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Your name was verified by your works, O wise Hiram, a harter, Polycarp. You were a fruitful olive tree in the house of the Lord, and you nourished the church with the spiritual bounty of your words and deeds. You intercede for our souls, O hierarch and steadfast prize winner. Through your virtues, O wise Polycarp, you offer spiritual fruits to the Lord and prove to be God's worthy hierarch. We, who have been enlightened by your words, today praise your memory and glorify God.